gallows. Places are for amateurs. That's what I was taught in the grotto. Do you know how badly those things can go wrong? I'd rather not think of it, Shadowheart. Strangle them by accident, use too much rope and break off their legs. And if it goes really badly, you could wrench their heads. What a picture you paint. Quite detailed, quite colorful, quite unnecessary. Your tools were stolen, right? No, you were mugged. Wait, I'm mixing you up with another citizen. I'm terribly sorry. I'll, I'll get back to you. Commander Portier, acting marshal of the fist. If you have a crime to report, please wait outside. We're currently at capacity. Cooking as fast as I can. Those fists have got bottomless bellies, I swear. Quiet day, mostly. Don't go spoiling it. Don't go looking for trouble. She stands, just as Elminster promised. Mistra, goddess of the weave, mother of all magic. The old man wasn't lying. She's opened the summoning channel. Can't you feel it? Gail's right. The very air around the statue crackles with magic. It sets your teeth on edge. A stream of 
pure, undiluted weave. I only have to reach out, and it will carry me to Mistra, wherever she may be. Go on, my good man. You can't exactly deny a goddess now, can you? Time was, I'd have given my right arm for a chance to speak with Mistra again. <laughs> the left one, too. Maybe a knee. Am I? You're right. I am a strong, capable wizard. And this is no more than a casual reunion with an ex-lover. My omnipotent, omniscient ex-lover. I always wonder what being nervous would feel like. I hate it. During my time locked away in Waterdeep, I prepared a quite comprehensive speech for her on the subject of our former relationship and the manner in which it ended. Alas, recent events have rendered the majority of it moot, so I'm gonna have to improvise. Unless you have any words of wisdom to impart before I go. The summoning channel Mistra has provided is one only I can enter. No matter how much I prefer not to face her alone. You'd make a fine three-dragon anti-player, you know? I think it's best I keep a cool head going into this. Approach it like a particularly high-risk round of three-dragon anti. I'll let Mistress show her flight, and then I can see how strong a chance we stand of winning the gambit. I'll only be gone for a matter of moments. The Outer Plains experience time quite differently to our own. Wait for me. Please. Waterdeep. You look well. As do you. But I assume we're not here solely to exchange compliments. So why am I here? You discovered what lies at the heart of the Absolute. The Crown of Causes. And you disobeyed my instruction. Why? Because you had no right to ask that of me. You cast me out. Remember? You were my lover, my chosen, yet still you know so little of me. The past cannot be undone with self-pity, nor can a future be forged. Only with the truth will you see the way ahead. The fragment of magic you tried to return to me was not of my creation. It was the Carsite Weave. It is a corrupted, half-born magic wrought in the brief moment Karsus ascended to godhood. It hungers for power, just as he did, and it can never be sated. You unleashed something that would consume all magic in existence, and yet you thought only of preserving yourself. So that's what you're scared of. With the crown of Karsus reforged, I could take control of the Karsite Weave. You can no more control the Karsite Weave than a weather vane could control a storm. That it entered your body and consumed no more than your powers was a miracle. But we will not be granted another. The only reason the orb sleeps is because I have allowed it to feed on the true weave, a temporary measure but one that will not be enough to save us. With each day that passes, the Elder Brain threatens to become a new kind of god, its worshippers a scourge of soulless illithids. If you will not use the orb to end this abomination, then you must find a way to separate crown and host. When you've done this, you must surrender the crown of Karsus to me. A great ask indeed. You've given me much to think on. 
as you always did. So be it. Follow the needle of your own wisdom. We shall see how truly it leads you. soil once more. I can't believe I saw it. After all this time. <laughs> Relieved. Drained. Proud of myself for summoning the courage to go to her in the first place. And, if I'm being totally honest, a bit lightheaded. As if it wasn't enough to have seen her again. She didn't exactly summon me there for small talk. The car sight weave within me this whole time. I knew the orb was no ordinary ball of magic before it to be Carsus's malignant creation. Gods! How did I not see that? But I should have known. What right had I to go about declaring myself an archmage when I was as foolish as a common apprentice in setting such an entity loose? At least now I'm armed with the truth. And Mistress' expectations. It sounds like the door to redemption is open at last. All I have to do is walk through it, carrying the crown of Carsus. Perhaps I see few other options open to me. If I ever want to reclaim those parts of myself, the orb snatched away. If I ever want to be me again, Thank you. There aren't many I'd trust to stand beside me on such a journey. Fewer still who would do so because they believed I deserved such a chance. If I could promise you one thing in return for your faith in me, it's this. I will use everything in my power to ensure we defeat this evil. I will not let you down. Tingle in 
You want a copy of this rag? Gold. Make it quick. My stupid dad makes me sell these sh yeah? The best one in town. The bold as mouse gazette. When the mouth works great as toilet. I'm reminded of a book father kept hidden in a drawer. The Salty Mermaid. Do you know of it, Shadowheart? Fabian ran his callous fingers along no. the lurid scales. Leading right that inside. tail quivered in response. is my time. Waste a step.
fleet of foot. Ready. Time to get going. Just for a change, venturing through a sun-dappled vineyard or a gleaming palace. <laughs> Not so fond of the sewers, then. They have their purpose. I'd just rather we didn't have to wade through their purpose.
It's done then. I prepared myself. I thought I was ready. But to see him like that, forever gone. Well, I mourned him the day I ended my pact. There's no sense in mourning again. Umberly, a brutal goddess from what I understand, without even the slightest touch of subtlety to her. Subtlety isn't exactly your forte, given how you've strolled about wearing a circlet inset with Shah's symbol. Now that we too shall gladly follow when our time has come. Is it done? Have you slain the Beastmaster? mother rewards those who submit to her will. May the seas be as kind as you deserve. Furious and merciful unbelief, hear our prayer. Flood the world with your word. Subsume us. Ah, the 
gods truly this petty? Thank you.